morning guys we're out here on the mantis we got our first order it's a five dollar 1.8 mile coffee bean it's i've gotten in the mode of grabbing orders as i step out of the house if i can because mornings can be terribly slow i mean five dollars 1.8 miles this is a recession coffee for sure the single coffee from coffee bean cabo feels really good i'm getting really comfortable on this scooter very quick the thumb throttle is uh, sort of unique for me but I got adapted to that relatively quick. Brakes are good, I like these zoom brakes. I don't really think they're that much different than nuts. Although the nut four piston hydraulics are coming out, that's gonna be a step up. This big structure up here is uh, Hollywood Boulevard setting up for the Oscars. So this is a crazy big setup. Hey buddy, I got a John, John G, John G, John G for DoorDash. Uh, this one you can use two chargers and do it in like four or five hours, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, do the full charge four hours in? You can use two chargers at once on this and do oh. it in like and do it in four or five hours. It's okay. pretty cool. So what's it at with one that you just uh, twelve. Ten ten to twelve. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely gonna be a challenging order because it's like a, just a giant iced coffee in like one of those plastic containers, which is not like super tight, but we'll do our best. Man, we're taking the scooter over some fucking shitty roads. Feels really good though, we've got about a half mile. I got coffee for John. Can I leave it here? Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Enjoy. Cute cat. Oh, that worked out good, guys. Order number one. Fuck yes. Even though that wasn't a great payout, you know, it's nice to be busy, and now we can make our first trip to Chick-fil-A, and we got an order under our belt at least. Yeah, I like the way this scooter feels. I'm getting used to it. I'm just so glad the handlebars are not too low. They're, like, perfect. They don't need to be extended for me, and I extend all my Dultrons for sure. We got a pretty good order from DoorDash here. It's a little bit on the far side, and it's got these fucking single lattes, but it's from Tartine, our regular place, 2.7 for 10 and a quarter. I feel like 100% just have to take it. So we know where that place is, but well, let's, I always set the sat nav anyhow. <laughs> let's go. These roads are rough. These roads are bad up here. We're here. I mean, this place 100%, oh, they built something new here in front of it. This place 100% makes you wait while they make the coffee, but it's okay. What's up, buddy? Where you been? Oh, hey, it's been a while. I know, man. I fell off the fucking scooter. Did you really? I oh, broke my shit. collarbone. I got knocked out. Damn. Yeah, but I'm back five months later. Fuck. And it was bad, but good Over test, here. I guess. Got yeah. Quick coffee to make no, I know you make the coffee. I know you make the coffee. Let me put this in my box. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. You the full gear, though, right? That's, that's probably Listen, if I didn't have my helmet on, 100% dead. Oh my god. I had. I got knocked out. The crazy thing is, is that my GoPro activated when I hit the ground, so I have the re the rescue footage, yeah. which is crazy. And, uh, but I don't remember any of it. Like I said, I was knocked out. I don't remember the ride to the hospital. Friends, here's the secret to the coffee, okay? I use these types, I use this bag. I just put it in there. I kind of get it like wrapped up tight. So when I put it in the drink holder, there's not a lot of space. That's, that's what you want. Oh, yeah, that's good. This order is far. Luckily this fucking scooter's got, I mean, you really gotta, you, I never pushed and pulled so hard on a stem as I have on this scooter. It's just different. The stiff suspension, the stiff stem compared to the Dultron, it's just totally different. I can see why if you only rode these, you would get on a Dultron and think there's something wrong with them and almost like vice versa. You have to balance this a little more. I don't think a lot of people realize that with the stiff front suspension, with the stiff front stem, you have to basically physically balance the scooter more. Let me just thank Hashem. That's like sort of a Jewish God, the one Jewish God that I don't really believe in. Whatever. Right. Let me thank fucking Hashem that the weather the is nice. This weather just makes a huge they difference doing this. So we can unpack this here and bring it up, I'm sure. As you can 
see the trick to the coffee. This shit is just good. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Feels like one of the best morning starts we've had in a while. Let's go. I'm uh, feeling good about these two orders. Let's go to Chick-fil-A. We still haven't made it there yet today, right? I mean, that's a great sign. Top speed run in third gear and fourth gear. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to push this. We got to pull over for this order. I was going to, we're already at like 37, 38, 39. All right, so we know this scooter probably does 40 miles an hour at least, but I don't want to miss his order. I don't even like doing fucking range tests. Let's see what this is. $4, 1.8. I don't want to go through that anyhow. We're having a good morning. It's a lot of coffee. This is a nice one, though. This is a $10 order. Let's see here. I did screen capture it for us. $10, 10 cents, 1.7. We're going to the coffee bean on Hollywood, though. Hollywood and Vine? Or, no, no, we're going to the regular coffee bean. Not a lot of zombies out here. They got the zombie fence up. We got here pretty quick. They're almost definitely not ready. Fucking busy. I mean, yeah, of course, of course. You, okay? And that's just, this is just food, right? Yes, that's okay, food. thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we got it. We got to stay balanced. Where the hell are we going? I know we got drinks. We're going to the W residencies, which is a really easy drop off. We got to leave the scooter out front. I trust everybody there. Let's go. This building is easy as long as you know what you're doing. The first building is the hotel, and the second building here in the back is the uh, residences. We just go right to the residences, and this place is secure. I just leave the scooter here. It's a pretty good, pretty good delivery spot, actually. I've been here before. It's 14i. 14i. What's the name that you have? JM. Sure. So just down the end. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high-powered scooters, bikes, doing deliveries on small PEVs. Thanks for joining me. It's already like the middle of the morning shift. We're dropping off this coffee. I appreciate your support. Use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, 50 bucks off Cabo Emu products. Link in the description. 50 bucks, no big deal, but it really supports, helps me out a lot as a content creator and as a broke-ass delivery driver. Let's go. I made a really amateur mistake. I got in the wrong fucking elevator. I don't know where this is going to bring me. Are we here? Hey, I, did I get in the... Okay, it's just okay. I get here. Thank you. All right, we got it, guys. Can't complain. Three orders down. They're all pretty easy so far. Feels like we're getting a little bit of a workout. Let's go back to Chick-fil-A and see... Uh, let's hurry up and wait. We got a nice Chick-fil-A on the approach. Eight dollars and change, 1.1 mile. It looks like it's going like right to my neighborhood, so I know we're gonna have to sit here for a while though. Okay. Much. I'll swipe it for you. Bye, right, kiddo. We'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. Friends, we got it. This is a nice one. One mile for eight bucks, like back in the old days, pre-fake recession or pre, it's not a recession, but it is. Let's go. I know exactly where we're going. This is basically going to my neighborhood, but we're not gonna call it a ship. We're still working after this, so we got plenty of battery. Oh, might be out here for a while. I believe we're actually on the left. I don't know why it's telling me to go right. Yeah, 7280, right? I know this neighborhood. I know where the entrance is. This is one of these places where you text them and they buzz you in. So, all right, here we go. Hi, it's your Uber. I'm here. We got in no problem. 407. Another 
another tough but perfectly delivered order with drinks. Let's go. Okay, back to Chick-fil-A. Crazy traffic situation here, brewing for sure. We don't sit in traffic though. We look for these little hole right here, go to the front of the line. What's up, killer? You making any money? What's up, buddy? You making any money? How's the thunder holding up? It's looking good. Looking good, buddy. Thank you very much. See you next time. Again, they did it to me. We'll call you. We'll call you. It's just sitting there. You know, they say they're going to call you, but it just sits there. You got to ask them. Good to see you, buddy. See you next time, ma'am. There's the killer. It's a 1.8 mile, $5 order. It's a shitty order, but. We were just not getting any orders. It's right around 11. It's always slow this time. So hopefully we'll just get busy now. I believe this should be a pretty easy drop off. 1,004. I know we've been here before. I recognize this. Uh, I recognize this address. Yogi Steve servicing no tipper since 2023. You know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyhow. Back to Chick fil A. Hopefully, we'll start to get busy as 11 o'clock creeps by. What's up, guys? Yeah, I got Danny M for Uber. And I've also got Grace S. I'll swipe it for you if you got it for DoorDash. Uh, Grace S for DoorDash. Yeah, you got that too? Hell yeah, guys. I think we're getting it. Right, I'll swipe them all for you. Thanks, bro. All right, kids. We got a double. Ten bucks to West Hollywood. Last order of the shift. All right, fellow pioneers. Our first order is going to Edinburgh, which is south. And then we gotta kick out, we gotta go back up the sunset for the second one, but let's go south first. It's easier. See ya, Hob. You too, buddy. Order number one, we're pretty close, I think. Sat nav keeps giving me the wrong fucking direction. Whatever. This is all the way to the end, of course. Let's go, baby. Number nine. Last stairwell. What else is new? All right, guys. That's order number one. Now we got to go north to um, this hotel on Sunset. Last order of the shift for sure. Let's go. Here's that big hill on La Cienega. We're low on battery too, but we got enough to finish the day for sure. Let's go, push, push, push. Wow, this scooter is not as big as my dual prom, but it made it. I knew this was a hotel delivery, I could tell. I believe it's right here, the standard. Pretty sure this is it. This place used to be like popular, now it's a shithole. Danny? Yeah. Awesome. How you doing, ma'am? One, two. Thanks, bro. Hey, Enjoy. Thank you. you got it, man. Thank you. Yeah, All right, hell yeah. He, oh, what's your pin number? What's the last four numbers? Uh, 9130? 9130? Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. All right, we got the pin number. We're out of here. That's the end of today's shift, guys. Let me go home and I'll give you the wrap up. Yeah, Electric Spirit Cat. What's your name? 
All right, guys, that was a good shift. We worked for about two and a half hours, two and three quarter hours. Maybe we did like 50 bucks. I don't know. You can help me out though. Maybe you want to buy one of these mantises. Use my affiliate code, Electric Scooter Academy. You get 50 bucks. I get a kickback. We're all happy. Supports me as a creator. Guys, that was a fun shift. Beautiful weather. I'm doing two shifts a day now. We're doing six delivery videos in three days. This is the number three. Guys, I appreciate your support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. And you know, I'll see you soon. Look at the sun dog. He loves the sun. Look at the handsome boy. He's so cute. The thing is, this is the small version of uh, the small version of the bigger one that you've seen me on. The one that you've seen me on recently. Yeah, yeah this is 1400 bucks. That one is 3000 this one is like a baby bird, but I'm taking it out for deliveries just to really prove that it's a good, durable vehicle. I'm telling Tom, my really smart building manager, if you can do a delivery shift on a scooter, it's going to be the scooter for you. You know, we got 700 miles on the first generation Roadrunner. I really wanted to get a shift in on the first gen Roadrunner because I don't want it to be forgotten or neglected as basically uh, we're kind of promoting the pro more, but I love my first gen Roadrunner. I just feel like it's a great vehicle. There's no better dual motor scooter for 1400 bucks in my opinion. It's not like super fast, but it's really proven to be super reliable. Once you can get by these kind of like small little things that we can talk about in our Facebook group, eMove Roadrunner, new users and mods. So if you get one of these and you have a problem with it, let us know. We can help you fix it pretty easily. Almost everything has been diagnosed. I would say the first gen Roadrunner is a solved equation and the uh, Roadrunner Pro, which you know, only a few people have it now, so we're learning about it now. It's looking good, but we're still learning about it. So join those groups if you're buying either Roadrunner. I'm basically, I'm basically out here pretending it's summer. Look, it's like 55 degrees, but in the sun it's nice, so just a t-shirt. All righty, Rudy, thank you. My cameraman right there. I meant to give him the fist bump. He took my helmet. Rudy, I got amazing news. Oh my God. I'm not taking the shop and pay. I did get a, I got, eight, I got an $8 three mile um, DoorDash for Chick-fil-A. We're here, we're doing it, let's go. I'm realizing this is my first, oh, how close do you have to get, buddy? Uh, I'm realizing that this is my first time out here on this scooter with the hydraulic brakes. It makes a huge difference. How you doing? I got Stefan S. I have it right here. Can you drop one Of course, of course. Make sure you confirm the pickup form. Of course, man. All, all day, man. You got it. Wow, it's beautiful. We just walked in and got it. We got lucky, I guess. For those that want to know, this is just a clean cloth bag. I use this to put in the cup holder and then it anchors it in much more tight than if it was just loose. There we go. Cool. Let's go. 3.2 miles into West Hollywood. Wow. If you're new to the channel, what's three miles? Doesn't sound like a lot, right? But that's really far for a uh, small food delivery on small vehicles but we're happy to be working it's an eight dollar order so it's not terrible i would have done it for five out of desperation just to get moving so let's get there safe on the first gen roadrunner two miles down fountain this is a far ride this vehicle is good on fountain because it takes a while to get to speed you know like 30 miles an hour basically but it holds speed pretty well that's been my experience with it It'll go 34 on a fresh battery. I don't really care how fast we're going now. I just want to make sure oh, we're going at least 25 according to that fucking uh, sign. I just want to make sure we're safe. I'm really focusing on this fucking thing. You can't really fool around on this too much. It doesn't have great acceleration, so you, it has great brakes. Because I put on like, great hydraulic brakes. A fantastic upgrade. But, all right, let's just ride safe now. I would say if you've never done this before, this left turn we're about to take up here on as we hit the sidewalk on fucking La Cienega is going to scare the shit out of a normal person. Well, that was some movie just made. Didn't really do us any good. Yeah, this left turn up here would scare the shit out of anybody. Yeah, this hill is a fucking pisser. Yeah, when you're on a smaller vehicle, you just feel everything more. Trying to be like more cautious on this vehicle than other ones. It's just small, yeah. People can't see you as well. We're getting close. 
here. We got to make this left up here. Oh, we're going to do it this way, though. we do it like this. Fucking semi-illegal bullshit. It's got to get out of this. Oh, my God. You don't have the light, buddy. What are you doing? What the fuck? I thought you were stopped there. Uh, we had to make this turn anyhow. So now where are we going to, guys? Uh, I could probably carry it up these steps, so I feel like that's going to be ridiculous, so we'll tie it up. Curious about security? I use a kryptonite lock. Link in the description. I've used it for a long time. I need, probably need a new one at this point, but this one works good. Cool. 204. What a tough order, but it is what it is. Happy to be working. 204. Easy enough of a drop off. All right, order number one on the first gen roadwire. Let's go. Man, this order took us to the middle of freaking really too deep into West Hollywood, so now we got a long trek back. $5.37, 1.6 miles, sweet green. Not an easy delivery either, but we're just taking it because I can't just sit and, man, I can't just sit and fucking not get orders. So we're on the road, it's all I care about, I'm trying to be safe. We've already had a bunch of close calls. I'm gonna dial myself down even more, more cautious, more focused, no rush, dude. Something I really like about this scooter is it's got good hill climbing ability. It's programmed, I think, so even when it gets hard, it won't fucking like overload you. So here we are in second. It's just a very steep hill, but it's not straining. It's just gonna get us up there slowly. I should probably put it in third gear actually, get a little more out of it. Should I get it in third or my second? I don't know if I'm in second or third. Yeah, that hill is about the steepest hill this thing could take. I and mean, we were creeping up there. And now we're gonna be careful on the sidewalk. Look out, zombie. Be careful on the sidewalk. We're going to Sweet Green, it's right up here. The water is going to be terrible. It's literally like down Doheny, and the directions are already say, come on in, and security will buzz you up. I don't think this woman tipped. Nice. How you doing? I got a Rebecca. Thank you very much. Uh, we got it. Yeah, this order is definitely going to be a trip, but at least we're going downhill now, not uphill. It's like you really got to know what you're doing out here to ride this fucking thing. I mean, helps to know the neighborhood. We're making a left on Doheny, and then we're pretty close. And then we're just driving like deep in traffic. Drawback to this vehicle is it doesn't have the acceleration you want when you're fighting traffic, so you got to kind of like play jujitsu with it, kind of go with it, you know? Oh, come on, what's going on here? Are you kidding me? Uh, there it is. I can feel all this traffic behind me, though. Fuck. Ah. Through the entrance. Holy shit, look at that. Hey, guys. Did somebody try to put a bullet in that front door? Yeah. For real? I'm guy. I, I got a delivery for 507. You can that bike, uh, okay, cool. Thank you. Good luck today. Dang it. I'm basically pretending it's summer. I'm out here in a t-shirt. I almost wore a tank top. I'm not fully recovered, but my muscles are coming in. I'm training by 507. Hey, enjoy. Thank you. You too.
All right, thanks, buddy. This is called the Road Runner. It's 1400 bucks. It has a swappable battery. It goes 35 miles per hour. You can get 25 miles range out of each battery at about 30 miles an hour. There's an upgraded model called the Roadrunner Pro. That's $28.95. It goes 50 miles an hour. It's like a little motorcycle. Because I've done so many deliveries and I've driven these things for so many miles. I have a YouTube channel. Are you ready? I'm going to tell it to you. If you remember that, you can check it out. If you buy one, I get a kickback too. Electric Scooter Academy on YouTube. Just remember that. Go to your phone right now. If you Give me a sub. I need it, baby. We're fucking grinding uh, subs. We're almost at 15,000. A shift like this on this scooter with multiple steep hills, I wish I had the second battery with me. I used to carry it around, but I just want to do enough deliveries to make a video. God, we are so far down sunset. We have so far to go. It's not as warm as I thought it was out here, especially in the shade. I'm gonna actually order myself food if it's not too crazy here while we're waiting for the next order. And I gotta put on my hoodie. I am freezing. <laughs> Took a while, but we got it. No drinks in here? All right, perfect. Let's go. I don't really remember where we're going. I'm just like fucking gonna follow the sat nav. I know it's like not a good deal for $4 and change, but no drinks. We can just kind of cook down there. Loving these hydraulic brakes, though, I swear to God, it makes a big difference. Those are mechanical brakes, stock mechanical on these things. I don't know how I lived with them for so long. Although my earliest scooters, I drove a lot of mechanical brakes, even on my Dualtron for thousands of miles. Really that far. I think it was only like 0.6 miles total, right? Your destination here we are. Right. One, two, two, one. The customer requested you leave the order at their door. All right, we got you, we got you, we got you. Here. So advantage of this road runner of the other one, I mean a huge thing is like look at this, you can pick it up, turn it around. You can there's just no way you're doing that on the big road runner, so I mean, how you doing? Oh my god, fuck. Oh like your style, this is like a delicious order. No drinks. Thank you right? so much. Enjoy, thank, thank you. you. guard but we got it done didn't even lose the elevator here let me show you that move one more time you can't even really do this on regular like scooters a big turnaround boom I might have been complaining about that order when we got it but that was actually like a great order even for just like four dollars 75 cents the guy did tip so that is nice not that it makes a difference after the fact, but all right, back to Why is the town so busy? What is going on? I want to get a sandwich for myself here at this point, but it's just going to take too long. There's a line, so uh, hopefully that means we'll pick up some orders. Why is the town so fucking busy right now? What is going on? Yo, yo, any luck with Malika? Malika R. I should never be around here. I guess the kids get out of school about this time, obviously, 2 o'clock, 2.30. And that Chick-fil-A was fucking insane. What are you doing, asshole? Fucking go, man. Oh, this fucking guy behind me. What the fuck? These fucking people drive like shit. All right, so I think I'm done doing deliveries because it's super slow. And I feel like this might be the retirement of the Roadrunner for deliveries, the first gen. It's like, almost feel like it's a little too dangerous for me. Maybe I become a wimp after my accident, but this I've had a couple of close calls. I mean, the drivers can't see this thing. That's the problem. But let's still, let's go. I'm keeping the apps on, but I'm taking us to Dos Burrito where I want to get lunch or whatever meal this is right now. I haven't eaten anything yet today. So uh, I don't get crushed by the school bus, don't I? I think I have to admit, today the grind got to me. I was out there for only two hours, but we only got three fucking orders. Fellow pioneers, we are done. What happened was, that last order, the window at that Chick-fil-A was getting packed with kids. I didn't think we'd ever get the food. So I figured that I would just give up 
call it a day. I got to admit the grind kind of got to me today. This is not my first uh, shift of the day. I'm shooting multiple videos in the same day. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that. But I really wanted to get the first generation Roadrunner out there since I've been on the Pro for so many miles recently. And even though I didn't make a lot of money doing deliveries, maybe you'll be inspired to buy a uh, first generation Roadrunner or even a Pro using my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy. Make me a couple bucks. Help out a poor delivery driver. But I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm only materialistically poor. I'm spiritually, spiritually wealthy. Guys, you can help me without spending your money by subscribing to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. I appreciate your support, guys. I'll see you next time. We're home.